Lenson Bocco. So last year's Irish Derby winner needs no introduction. The fact he's two thirds British owned as well. You think he was always going to come over and run in the English Derby. Now, the big negative for Lenson Bocco was the fact that he was a wide runner. Nottingham obviously last year was perceived in certain areas not to favour wide runners. Some people thought it was just the lack of wide runners that the wides weren't favoured. Other people thought it was the traps where traps one and six weren't getting the advantage. They've changed it all this year. They've got the new traps in, so there should in theory be no disadvantage inside or out. They bank the bends for the wide runners as well. As you say, Lenson Bocco needs no introduction. We laid him at 40 to 1 in before we knew where the derby was going to be. I think some pubs have thought it might be at Central Park. It could be at Nottingham. But as you say, that was a very, very bold move on the part there. And a very shrewd move indeed. We were laid him at 20 to 1 as well. You know for a fact he's going to come over here. Last year's Irish derby champion in that absolutely thrilling race last year at Shelbourne Park. Where there was, say, two short heads covered the first three. He's got the class on the ball. Grand Holland knows what it is to have a class dog and bring it through. You know he's going to come for the derby. And as you say, at the price he is now, with a track that could well be in his favour, he's a strong man in salt, 500 metres around there, right up his street. That's Lenson Bocco, currently now 14 to 1 for the Star Sports Greyhound Derby.